Your performance at Jules Villeneuve circuit was not good enough for Scuderia Toro Rosso first driver. We expect a higher finishing position from your next race. Well, thank you very much guys, but it would be nice if you gave me some fuel to finish the race next time. But uh, welcome back guys to another episode of the F1 2006 career mode here for F1 Championship Edition. We're off to America now for the Indianapolis Grand Prix. It should be a very interesting race considering I've never been there before and you guys in the comments have said that this may be a weaker track for us due to the, uh, the higher straight line speed required to be quicker around here. So without further ado, let's get straight into this episode for Indianapolis. It's, uh, it should be a very interesting episode, to say the least. Welcome to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in the United States of America. The scene of much controversy in 2005, but today we're assured of a fantastic qualifying session. It feels so surreal to be at a track like this in a Formula One car. We, we really are back in an older era of Formula One if we're back at this track. It's, uh, it's quite interesting. I did hear about the controversy of the 2005 season, uh, the 2005 race around this track, but apart from that, I, I don't know too much about this track, so it's going to be very interesting for me. Look at that. Look at that entrance onto the start when he's straight. That's, that's pretty awesome. Ugh. Bloody hell, watch out for that ripple strip in the race then. Let's see what we do. Coming up to the line, it's a 16.5. Half a second quicker than what was set by Montero, but um, I'm going to keep going. I, I, I need the experience more than anything. Albers does a 16-1 and eclipses my time, so I'm just going to do a few laps here. This qualifying session is essentially my practice. Oh, bit of an incident up ahead. There's a Torosso, a, uh, was it a BAR Honda, possibly? And who else is it? I'm not too sure, but these guys are all going very, very slowly. Not much room or... Very much gentleman-like uh, feelings being shown to each other here. And uh, this has interrupted my lap too. Lap time, 15-6. 17th place with 8 minutes to go. We need to find a second just to be safe. Uh, yep, yeah, run over the pit crew, it's fine guys. Banging on the rev limiter for so long in this start from this straight. And still, I break way too early into turn one. Four tenths up in the first sector, that's nice. Keep losing time in that middle sector though. I just, those twisty sections are just like, I keep running wide through a lot of those corners. And a lot of those corners flow into the next corner. And if you get one corner wrong, it, so, it sort of like disrupts the momentum and the flow for all the subsequent corners after that. But we set a 14-6 there. It's still not enough to get us out of the danger zone. Six tenths up again. Come on, that's what I need. It was a good lap. Come on, this time, please. I'm desperate to get through to Q2. We do. 13-4. It puts us provisionally P9 with four minutes to go. I think we are safe. We'll continue in a few moments with the second knockout session where we'll decide grip positions 16 to 11. I bet Scott Speed feels really bad right now. I've come to a brand new circuit I don't even know. And um, he's like three seconds off my time. How bad would you feel? I think I finally hit the braking zone properly there in a turn one. First time I feel like I've nailed that corner. When you can come into heavy braking zones on this game and trail brake all the way to the apex, that's when this game feels really satisfying with the handling model. Whereas the long sweeping corners not so satisfying on this game. 13, 14, 1. A little slower than Q2, but it's only our first lap. Around the iconic final corner with my very twitchy steering pad. What's the time going to be? Are we into the 13s? Yes, we are. 13, 5. And only just in position 10 at the moment. We've got one more lap. We go very deep into turn 1. A little too deep that time. But we really need to push on this one just to secure ourselves in a Q3. Jensen Button completes his flying lap. Uh, we've just been knocked out by Jensen, thank you. All over the place. Q2 
second sector split should be coming up very soon. It is an encouragement. Eh, it is an encouraging one. Only just three hundredths faster than our previous lap, and this third sector is all fairly self-explanatory. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to make it to Q3 here. It is very tight in terms of beating our previous lap time. We come up to the line, but do we move up? No, we don't. It is P11. <sighs> P11 for the United States Grand Prix. So there we have it. From 10th to pole, the grid order looks like this. So Raikkonen gets pole for the US Grand Prix. Fisichella in second. He's uh, managed to turn around his form after I slagged him off in the last episode for getting out and out beaten by Alonso in every single race. Alonso, speaking of him, he's in P4. Montoya 5th. Schumacher 6th. Mark Webber 7th. Massa 8th. Button 9th. And Barrichello rounding out the top 10. So without further ado, it's time for the US Grand Prix. Hopefully... We have more than six starters for this race. This is the US Grand Prix coming to you exclusively live from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I don't know if it's pixels or what, but it looks like it might be lightly raining. No, look at that. Look at the track, guys. It's definitely raining. Uh, it looks like we're on dry tires as well, so this is going to be an interesting start here. I can confirm it is raining. There it is, there's the drops on the screen. This is going to be an interesting Grand Prix, no matter what happens. I can't remember. There is definitely dry compounds and there's wet compounds. However, I don't know if it's down to the player whether we switch to those tires or not. So, it's going to be an interesting race no matter what happens. It looks less wet in Sector 2 though. And then as we come around to this half of the circuit again, it's uh, definitely a lot more drizzly. There's like drops of water all over the screen even at low speed this is uh interesting oil pressure looks good temperature looks good everything's ready to go good luck with the first part of the race see you at the first pit stop oh boy i am a little bit nervous for this one not going to lie this is going to be a weather affected race here and i'm not too sure about my chances of finishing this us grand prix 10 red lights and away we go for the US Grand Prix. It's been an okay start in the wet weather here. Looks like the guys behind me are doing a little bit well too. I feel like I've bogged down a little bit here off this start. I can't see anywhere where I'm going in these yellow flags. Must have been someone behind me who crashed. So this is scary how, lack, how little vision I have heading into turn one. I, gen I genuinely will have to concentrate for this first lap just to get my cider in. Oh, just so I don't crash. More like it. Like, I can barely see which way the track is going, and it doesn't help that I'm not that familiar with this track either. Oh, almost went in deep. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've got a nice exit. We're going to fly past Weber here. Bit of a crisscross move. And it's going to take a nice corner through here. We've got him fairly easily there. I thought he was still up my inside, possibly. Oh, Weber thought about a move, possibly, into that first corner. But he's going to hold off for now into the first corner. I've run a little bit wide there. A little bit deep. Oh. We've been overtaken into the first corner. I really needed to dry out. I don't have the pace in the wet weather, it seems. Schumacher is in second. Look at that train behind me. That is a nasty looking train who are all ready to overtake me. There goes Mark Webber, I believe. I've gone in too deep. And we give up that place as well. Not too sure what it is today, why I'm so slow. I don't know if there's something that I'm just clearly doing wrong that I'm not picking up on. Am I on the wrong compound of tyres or am I just not driving that well? It could be, it could be the latter. Someone's had an engine blow out there. I'm not too sure who that was. It looked like it was possibly a Williams. No, it couldn't have been a Williams. There's another one behind me. So, I don't know. Whoever it was, we'll find out who it was at the end of the race. It is essential you come in and refuel on this lap. You don't, you won't finish the race. Please, Torosso, please be there. Please, where are you? Guys, I'm looking out for you. Where are you guys? You're not home again. Engineer, you guys all heard it. Engineer told me to come in on that lap. 
What happened? We came in, and we weren't serviced. And now we're not going to finish the race. How many times does this have to happen before... I mean, why? Why, Torosso? You tell me to come in, I come into the pits, and you're not, re you're not waiting for me. You're not going to service me. What has gone on? Why do, why do you guys just continue to play with me like this? You haven't noticed I'm going like ultra fuel con to make sure that I can make it to the pits on this occasion because the engineer said that if I didn't stop on the last lap I wouldn't finish the race but I think we're about to prove him wrong we're coming into the pits now and there we go we're actually going to make it Montoya is seven. finally finally we're going to hello pit crew it's been a while since I've seen you guys isn't it 9.1 one of the best stops this season I hope the pit crew are nice and f it's probably because the pit crew are nice and fresh. Haven't done any work in a few weeks. Up on the catalog, only five laps left. He's up from fourth. Fourth is Raikkonen. He's slipped. Come on, round the outside of Sato. Wee, there's a bit of contact. And he didn't leave me too much room there on the crisscross. Barrichello is in eight. Slipstream. First corner. No, a lunge was not on the cards. Done the over and under, bit of contact. I'm having to mount the curb in order to not run into the side of this guy. But Sato driving incredibly slowly at the moment. We pass him up the inside and move into 18th place. So there's a yellow flag on the last lap and now there is oil flags on this lap as well. I don't know what it is about this... Oh, there was an oil patch right there. I don't know what it is, if it was like this in real life in the 2006 season, but... This game, these cars seem to be very bad for reliability. Like every single race, there'll be four, five, maybe even six or more cars who have reliability troubles. I'm driving absolutely atrociously at the moment, but it doesn't doesn't matter too much. Let me know in the comments whether it was like this in the 2006 season, and also let me know whether we can ourselves get affected by reliability. You know, whether our engine will just randomly blow up at some point because I'd be I'd be interested to know. It would be nice to not be all of a sudden be surprised. Bang! Engine blowout. He's done it. Busy Keller powers across the line in first place. Ten points. Well, can you believe it, guys? Earlier on in the season, I slagged off Busy Keller for for not performing well and getting outclassed by his teammates so much. And here he is. Not long after, he's responded and he's won the U.S. Grand Prix. Look at those empty grandstands on the left there. Goodbye, Indianapolis. It's um, definitely not been the best Grand Prix for us there. It's 16th place in the US Grand Prix. This is probably one of those episodes to forget. All is forgiven for the problems of 2005. Indianapolis has hosted a fantastic race here today. Driver standings, Alonso is basically double every other driver in the standings and he is without a doubt going to win this 2006 season and become a two-time world champion in the world of Formula 1. We are still in ninth place, uh, thankfully. Trulli is closing ever so slightly, but I think our position 9 is safe for the next few rounds at least. But um, that's been this episode for today. In the next one, we're heading off to... Uh, Magni Corps for the French Grand Prix. Another track I'm not too familiar with, but it should be a uh, fairly entertaining episode nonetheless. Hopefully that can be the track where we bounce back as well and um, get back inside the points because we've gone a few races now without some points and we're on a little bit of a dry spell. So hopefully in the next one we can redeem ourselves and um, get back on the points. So thanks for watching guys once again. Leave a like on this episode if you've enjoyed. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you guys for a brand new video very soon.